Dancing in public is not allowed in the Islamic Republic of Iran. No dancing. But thousands could hardly contain themselves at a raucous campaign rally in Tehran. On this day, the deafening cheers were not for presidential hopeful Mir Hossein Mousavi. In a rare break from tradition, the cheers welcomed Mousavi's wife, Zahra Rahnavar, a woman some call Iran's Michelle Obama. We look at her and we see that we will be like her in future. Never in the history of Iranian presidential elections has a candidate put his wife in the forefront of his campaign. But where the centrist candidate goes, his wife is usually nearby. This is the first time after the revolution we see a lady in front uh, behind of the president and this is why we are so happy. At this rally, the writer and art professor did the speaking for her husband, who was campaigning elsewhere. Wearing a traditional black chador and not so traditional floral headscarf, Rahnavart called for freedoms she says were lost during President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's term. I hope freedom of speech, freedom of the pen, and freedom of thought will not be forgotten. An estimated 12,000 people packed into Azadi Arena for what was a very loud rally. The women sat on one side, the men sat on the other. The overwhelming majority of people here are young voters, 20-somethings who are calling for change. And many say they're here because of Musavi's wife. The most important reason that I'm working for Mr. Musavi is her, his wife. How much are you supporting Mr. Musavi because of his wife? Uh, really much, because I'm really, uh, uh, really angry about the position of here in Iran as a woman. I think Iranian elections are always intriguing. Political science professor Mohammad Manandi says Rahnavad's role is to win over reformists and women voters. But Marandi downplays her impact. What will win the election, he says, is a solution to a floundering economy and strong debates. But if Ahmadinejad does well in the debates, I don't see um, anyone being able to defeat him. Don't I tell that to Zahra Rahnavad's energized supporters, who say if her husband becomes president, she will have had a lot to do with it. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Tehran.